guys, it's Shelby and welcome back to the Eclectic Aficionado. I've been a little MIA for the last week and a half, two weeks, but hey, I'm back and today I am doing my May wrap up. So I did a TBR for the month of May and I totally failed you guys. I can't TBR, I just have to read what I'm feeling. Um, I'll try to keep it to books that I haven't read yet, um, but otherwise... I guess I'll try to talk about it a little bit here. Rune Marks, right here, by Joanne Harris, was on my TBR for the month of May. And I started to read it. Um, I don't know. I didn't really get very far into the book. But I started to read it, and then I remembered that there was the Gail Carriger Soulless series that I had to read and finish. So this got kicked to the side pretty fast. So I don't know when, but I'll, I do want to reread this. I just, I had to get through that series first. So let's move on to what I did read this month. So for starters, I started the Parasol Protector series by Gail Carriger, and I actually finished the series. So it goes Soulless, where you're introduced to everybody, yeah, and then you move on to book number two, Changeless. You can see Allie put some tabs in here for some quotes and things. And then you move on to number three, Blameless, and number four, Heartless. And then there's a fifth book called Timeless, but I haven't read it yet. I was going to, but there were other things I wanted to read. So that'll be read next month. The things that distracted me from finishing the series were the mangas of Soulless. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my god. Wait, focus. Focus. Don't look at my face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See? See? It's so cool. It's so fancy. So... So this one's Allie's. She bought the first one and then I had her order the second and third one for me um, at work. And so I have those right here and we both read these because Allie has been reading the Gil Carriger series as well this month. And so we're both just kind of blowing through it because it's just that good, you guys. It's that good. It's just, it's so, it's so good. You guys just need to read it. Yeah. And then I found this the other day when I went and hung out with Allie while she was working. And it's called Veil, vale, and it's a graphic novel about this girl who, you come to know her as Veil, vale, and she wakes up naked, no memory, no idea who she is, in a subway in, I'm assuming, New York, I think. And she just kind of stumbles out onto the street, and this guy, Dante, his name is Dante. Dante finds her, and he kind of helps her out and, like, has a soft spot for her, and then you kind of figure out that, I mean, I'm not spoiling anything here, but you find out she's a demon, because, look, she's a demon. But yeah, it's actually really cool. The artwork is really intense. It's kind of crazy. It's all off the wall. It can be a bit gory at times, but it's also like, it's like super old school graphic. I mean, it's pretty intense. It's got really cool elements, pretty original story. And uh, they don't, this is, I guess, volumes like one through five is compiled in this hardcover book and they don't have the second one out yet. So I'm kind of SOL on reading more in the series. So this is all I have for right now, you guys. And I was really sad because we went today and I wanted to order it and it doesn't exist yet. Yeah, this is done by Dork Horse Books. They tend to be on the kind of alternative gory dark side anyway, so yeah. Yeah, that's everything I read for the month of May. I'm not even going to try and give you guys a TBR for next month um, because I don't even necessarily think it'll happen. Um, so I will just inform you guys at the end of June what I read and so until then you're just gonna have to be kind of like oh what's she reading ah, I don't know so please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I will be coming out with a couple more videos pretty quick after this one to make up for some lost time so I will be seeing you guys in those videos see you later Yeah, and then also, while well, me and Allie were at the bookstore today, bought some cute little things. Look, look at him. It's Pa from the Jungle Book. Focus, focus, there you go. So I got Pa, and then I got the old school Mystique. This one does not want to stay. There she is, yeah. Focus, focus. Come on. And then Allie also got two from the pop action figures. She got um, she got Prince John over here from one of both of our favorite animated movies, Robin Hood, which is like the best thing ever. So you got that guy. 
And then, this is really cute. <laughs> she got Predator! Look at him! He's so cute! Look at him! Yeah, so we did a little bit of a spending splurge today. Yeah, and then you guys might have noticed also, uh, just like Allie, you know, we went and got our hair done, so mine's shorter and lighter and things. So, yep, time for changes. And, yeah. Bug a but whoa. By oh my gosh, I can't even talk right now, Alexis. 